flow in adoration to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Flow in praises unto the one who is able to do all things. Flow unto the one who has power to turn things around. Give glory and honor to the most high, most excellent Father, most awesome God, most glorious God. We worship you. We honor you. We magnify your name. We exalt you, Jesus. We praise you, King of glory. Forever may your name be praised. Forever may your name be exalted. Forever may your name be glorified. Thank you, blessed Father. To you alone be glory forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. In Psalms 103, in verse number 7, Psalm 103, verse 7, the Bible says, he made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. Now there are two parts of God that every man must know. The act and the ways of God. For babes and the young one, it is only the act of God. You know, how God give bread and fish. Now but the way by which God perfect man and make them to be a producer of bread and fish is hid in the way of the Lord. Now when you only know the act of God, all you have will be temporal on a daily basis. When you know the ways of the Lord, you have an inflow of every day of your life because you know what it takes to get everything that you are looking for. You want to ask God this morning, say, Father, in your own supernatural way, let me know your way. Show me your way, O oh God. Father, show me your way, O oh God. Lord, let, my, let me find the way in the mighty name of Jesus. By your great hand, by your great power. Father, let me find the way. King of glory, let me find the way. Lord of hosts, let me find the way. I am that is I am, let me find the way. The mighty, almighty, let me find the way. The great I am that is I am, let me find the way. The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, let me find the way to the glory and to the praise of your holy name. In ta 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 pa libo likra kayata kuske te po liba lindre ke yede kunde bele Thank you, blessed Father. Let me know the way, find the way, and remain on the way every day of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Beloved Father, we are grateful unto you for the opportunity to appear in your presence once again this morning. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. We pray, Father, as we appear today, the joy of your presence We eliminate every pain of our life, every trouble of our life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever challenge anywhere within our life, Lord, let the blessing of your presence eliminate them in the mighty name of Jesus. We receive the thought of your power that turn a man to a champion all round in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask by your mercy, show us the way. Lord, plant us on the way. And help us to walk in the way every day of our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And the people of God will say a good amen. Before you take your seat, look at your neighbor and say, my neighbor. The Lord has made you unstoppable. 
Don't stop yourself. Did you agree? If you agree with me, say a big amen. amen. God bless you. Please take your seats. It is a privileged choir, please. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. It is a honor once again this morning to stand uh, before the people of God in champion. And uh, I want to appreciate the love, uh, the care uh, that we enjoy, the fellowship. Uh, we believe God that uh, the best is yet to come. We haven't we aren't seen anything yet. We are still preparing the ground to start. Very soon, we will begin to start. And when the time to start come, people will gather. Uh, when aeroplane want to fly, it make, you know, there are some little movement. We are at that little movement. We are fasting our seat belt now. Very soon we begin to taxi. And very soon people begin to, uh uh, how come they are up, up there? Now, one thing is, as God is lifting the church, He's lifting you. You cannot be on the spot in a moving car. When the car is moving, it's moving you. Now, as God moves this parish, He will move your family, He will move your career. Everything about your life will move forward. And the name of the Lord will be glorified. If you agree with me, say a good amen. amen. Acts of the Apostles chapter 3. Reading from verse 1. I'll just speak some selective reading because of my time. Now Peter and John went up together into temple at the hours of prayer, being the night hour. Verse 2. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask arm of them that enter into the temple. Who seen Peter and John about to go into the temple, ask an arm. And Peter fastened his eyes upon him, which John said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have gave I thee, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bone received strength. Verse 8, and he leaping up stood and, walk, and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. Praise the Lord. Don't stop yourself. When you look at the story of this man, you know, as we read further, we get to know that the man was age 40. And from age one, in fact, before he was born, he was lame from his mother's womb. In other words, long before he came into the world, his problem has been with him, his limitations has been with him. And so by those limitations, even though God has made him unstoppable, there was certain situation that seems to have stopped him and limited how far he can go in life. Now, that man was at the beautiful gate. He never entered. He always at the gate. He has everything that it takes to be inside, but he was always on the outside. Now, in life, or do I say life, has many descriptions. Life has many faces. Life has many, uh, many things with which it is described. And sometimes it does not show a favorable side to everybody. I have discovered in life that we don't start at the same level in life. The challenges of people are different. But you see, generally in life, there are some things that are uniform, you know, as to when we start. But how we start may be different. But you see, everything about life is a journey. And if life is a journey, there is a starting point. If it is a journey, there are points where people break down or things
things that could slow people down in the journey of life. In the journey of life, there are seven significant, uh, uh, significant phase or page to those who read book or chapter. And each time, there is always something that wants to stop people from at one point in life at, at the other. The first is the face or the chapter of birth, where you are born, who gave birth to you, who your father is, which continent you are given birth to, which nation, which family. Now, sometimes by the reason of birth, there are people who've gone ahead of all other. They will say in my place, the day an elephant is born is bigger than a cow. So by the, by the choice of who the parents are, it has turned things around for the baby elephant. He has something by inheritance that make it bigger. No matter how much the cat may eat, it cannot be as big as a dog. So it is something that has limited the cat in size. But I tell you, not in potential. Because there is a different thing that the cat is supposed to, be, to, to fulfill. But what I'm trying to say is, there are certain things in some background of people, even though the design of God for everybody is that you are unstoppable, you are unlimited. Sometimes in life, there are things that, limited, that limits people. One of them is the story of their birth, the situation of their birth. For this man we read about in, in uh, Acts 3, from verse 1, it was from his mother's womb. We don't know what happened. How call that he became lame from his mother's womb. Now, when they say somebody is lame, in other, it means the leg are, are not strengthened. Now, if the leg is not strengthened, the, a man cannot move at the same pace that other people are, are moving. So, which means there is a disadvantage that will not allow that man to move when others are moving. So, when others are moving, he is only, he can only crawl. If you read the story very well, the Bible says he was being carried daily. So it was more or less like a liability. Sometimes there are situations that want to limit a man to a liability. But I come to tell you this morning, God has not made you to be a liability. You are an asset to your generation. And so whatever it is that has happened around you, that has happened at your beginning behind you, should not stop you. And as the Lord live and as the Spirit live, today, whatever power that wants you limited, is they are removed out of your way in the name of Jesus. Yes. When you read in Judges chapter 11, verse 1 and 2, Jephthah was denied by his uh, family member to have inheritance with them because they said he was a child of an harlot. It wasn't the fault of the boy. Only God know how his father got to the harlot house and a, a child was born. I don't know how lot give birth, but one way or the other, we saw in the case of Jephthah. And because as far as God is concerned, there is no illegitimate child. So because that child carry a destiny and it must fulfill purpose, even though everybody rejected him, one day, the one they rejected, they came to look for. He became a sought for. You may not look good today. People may not be reckoning with you by the reason of your birth. They may say your mother was an husband snatcher. He must be a side chick or whatever name they call her. But God has brought you into this world. Now, you, out of that black pot, God has brought out a white pap that he will use to decorate the world and to make the beautiful things of life. No matter what may be the disadvantage in your birth, God is decorating your life today. God is making your life beautiful. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe it, let your amen be better. Each time the theologians are discover, I mean, are discussing the case of David, the reason why a man should have eight sons, and the prophet will ask him to present his son, and he will present only seven. They said, the mother of David is not a legitimate wife. It must be one of those uh, girls that the man must have impregnated one girl. So in their culture, they don't count those boys to be anything for inheritance. But that was man who said, as far as God is concerned, the tradition of man may stop you, but the order of God include you. 
The plan of man may not include you, but in the agenda of God, you are included. So when man says you don't have a part, God says you are included. God says you belong. God says you have a portion. And because you have a portion, you will receive your portion. Beginning from today, those things that they have said concerning you, concerning your back, concerning your mother, concerning your father, concerning whatever, whatever, God is turning it around in the mighty name of Jesus. He will give you a new beginning. He will give you a new start. He will give you a new opportunity in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever that has gone wrong, whatever that is obvious as a stopper, a limiter against your life, today they are lifted away in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, I said they are lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. They are removed in the name of Jesus. You read about the case of Jabesh. In First Chronicle 4, as we read from verse 9 to 10, Jabesh, his mother called him Jabesh because he said, I born him in sorrow. Now, when the mother wanted to give birth, there were things that happened. It wasn't the fault of that boy that he was born at that time. Paraventure, maybe his father died before he was born. And so when he was given back to the woman inside her pain and whatever, disappointed, say, you this boy, you this boy, you are a boy, child of sorrow. But it is man, as long as Jabez continued to carry that identity, she, she remained in her pain. But a day came when that man looked unto God, why should I take evil portion for myself? God, it is not my portion. It wasn't my fault. I was not the, I didn't kill anybody. I didn't commit any crime. Why should I be the one carrying the blame and the trouble of things that happened in my family and he look up to God, God, I wish you would be with me. And uh, you will settle my case and you will remove sorrow from me that I will, it will not be grieved me. And the Bible says, God make him more honorable than all his brethren. In his family, in his generation, there are honorables. You know, honorable also have levels. Yes, and so, you know, the people, area counselor, they call them honorable. Some of the local government chairmen, they call them honorable. In the house of rep, there are honorable. So, honorable has level. So, the Bible says he was more honorable. So, when God wants to make his, give him honor, he gave him the highest honor. I am saying to somebody, today you have been despised. The highest honor is coming into your life. You are entering the highest honor. You are getting the greatest honor in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe it, let your amen be better. Can you imagine those two boys in 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1 to 7? Now the creditor came to threaten their mother. Your two sons are going into a bond man because of what they hold. The woman lost the husband. She was about to, to lose also the, the, the two sons. 24 hours ultimatum. Now, many people inherited liability. Some, it was a cause that, is, that was placed on their father that continued to run in their generation. And they continued to service a loan they never borrow. There are many people who live all their life servicing loan that, that they never borrow. They never get out of it because somebody ate yesterday leaving the bill for them to pay today. There may be one or two people in, the, in, the, in this service this morning. You are going through situation that was caused for you by your parents. And each time you are going through that pain, you don't know how it, it, it came about. But I need to tell you, God has made the provision for you. He has settled the case. It is only for you to enter. You see, in Ezekiel 18, when you read from verse 2, God called the people of Israel and said, why is it that you people are using this parable? That the son, the father has eaten a sour grape, and the teeth of the children are set on edge. He said, as I live, says the Lord, this parable will no longer be made. Because the soul, the, 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 the one who sinned is the one who will die. You know, the, father, the child will not bear the iniquity of their father. Now, every load, every pain of your father that you have been carrying, today, the Almighty God removed them off your shoulder. Every 
inherited cause in your family line, I speak by the authority of the blood of Jesus that you are disconnected from that bloodline in the name of Jesus. Every evil that is associated and connected to the family, to the community, to the city that you came out from, today God set you apart. Today God set you apart. Today God set you apart. In the mighty name of Jesus, your case will be made different. Your case will be made different. In the mighty name of Jesus, if you believe it, let your amen be better. There are situations in life that limit people. And then many people live the rest of their life carrying the burden. Many people come to hate God because of things that has happened to them from their childhood. They will tell you how I suffer as a boy and they continue in that suffering and suffering. Excuse me, sir. You may not have suffered as a boy. That suffering is not supposed to be forever. There is a plan of God. If you can con when you connect with God, God can turn things around. He has a way of taking the poor and the beggar out of the, the, the Mary clay, out of the dumb hill, and make them sit together with the princes upon the throne. There is a throne prepared for you to sit on. There is a vacancy at the, at the, at the hall of fame waiting for you to occupy. Irrespective of your background, it's not going to put you on the ground. You are not going to be grounded. No, you are going to fly and go high and move on and go high in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't live in resentment. Don't live in regret. Stop crying about the things that your father caused. There is a father in heaven that is changing the course. You need to understand, every man has two fathers. Your biological father and your spiritual father. Now, you may not know it, but I'm, I'm saying it to you. Your spiritual father has a higher authority. There are people who are limited in life because they offended their father and they made a pronouncement against them. And those pronouncements against them limited their life. Stop their life. Say, you this boy, you this troublesome girl, you this, and they said some nasty thing. And then each time you hear that word, you know, you see the manifestation in your life. Now, those things can be turned around. I met a young man sometime in one of these nations, and he narrated something, how he was a stubborn boy, and one day how his father cursed him. And he said, from that day, he will wake, he is sleeping, he will be dreaming, he will be dreaming those curses. He will be hearing it, the thing is echoing. And I said to him, what you don't understand is that there is some demon called curses enforcing agent. When your father calls you, those agents are saying, ah, you, it must happen. They are saying, they are finding it, ah, it must happen. It must come to pass. I said, but I am glad to tell you that I adopt you as a son today. And I stand in the gap for you as a spiritual father. What your father calls you, I stand here to correct them. I stand on this altar this morning as a spiritual father in this house. Whatever it is your father has pronounced on you wrongly, I declare them reverse in the name of Jesus. Whatever offense you committed against your father that has made him make a negative pronouncement against your life, I stand on this holy altar and by the power of the blood of Jesus, I declare them reverse in the name of Jesus. From this altar, I declare, you will go forward. You will go higher. You will get better. You will increase in grace. You will increase in power. You will increase in ability. In the mighty name of Jesus. Never again will you be limited. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe it, say good amen. David was disqualified by his father. But his spiritual father, when Samuel came, he qualified him. It was not matter as far as his father was concerned. But when his spiritual father came, 
He set him in a good order. He poured the oil over him in the midst of his brethren. And from that day, there was a rearrangement in the family. From that day, there was a restructuring in the family. The man was at the last seat before. He was moved from the last bench into the front row. From the least in the family, he became the king among all his father's house. I am saying to somebody here, today, God is reordering your family. He's changing your position. He's moving you away from the back line. You are going to the forefront in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare you carry from where you are and put you in the forefront in the name of Jesus. Something bigger than your imagination, than your calculation, than your work out. The Lord grant unto you in the name of Jesus. I pronounce upon you the blessing of God that will entitle you to blessings that is bigger than your age. Favor that is greater than your certificates. Honor that is bigger than your connection. In the mighty name of Jesus. Where all others struggle, the favor of God will speak for you. In the palace of honor, hey, the favor of God will speak for you. The favor of God will speak for you. The favor of God will speak for you. Men and women you never know, they will hear about your name and they will fall in love with you. They will help you. They will work together to help you, to support you, to encourage you, and to bless your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe it, let your amen be better. Amen. On this particular day, Peter came as the father in the law to that lame man. All he has to do was to hold his hand and lifted him all. In life, every man needed somebody to give them a rise. To give them a rise. To give them a rise. When God connects you with spiritual father, and with the hand of favor. Now, the journey of 100 years that take others 100 years, you may travel it in less than 10 years. You gain time. You gain speed. You gain chance. You are carried above all others, and you are put ahead of all others. God is working in your favor. He's working in your honor. Like Peter did to that layman, I have the order of God to do for you this morning. Amen. And I declare your hand lifted up. Amen. I declare your hand lifted up. Amen. I declare your hand lifted up. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As long as the hand will always go above the head, you will always be ahead. Amen. You will always be ahead. You will always be ahead. You will always be ahead. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare your hand lifted up. Your hand lifted up. In the mighty name of Jesus. By the reason of that lifting that day. Where that man has never been in his life. He will always be put at the gate. He will be peeping to to see what was going inside. He desired to be there, but those who carry him cannot carry him beyond that level. But where the help of man stop, the divine help take over in the life of this man and took him to the place where the hand of no man can take. There is a place that no connection of man will take you. But today, God connects you and take you beyond the help of man. It takes you beyond the support of man. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything you have always desired to have. Everywhere you have always desired to be. Before 2020 is over. You will get there in the name of Jesus. You will get there in the name of Jesus. You will get there in the name of Jesus. You will get there in the name of Jesus. You will get there in the name of Jesus. What you have seen. And you have desire in order. 
That man will see people walking in desire. One day, I will wish I can walk. But that day came, he walked. He was not only walking, he was leaping. He was leaping. He see people dancing. He desired to dance. But that when his day came, he began to dance. His own dance that day became unique. Well, all that who have been dancing before, stop dancing. See, when you have been a spectator for long, and God make a way for you, all the people in the stage will wait to watch you because it is now your turn. They have been dancing. But now it is your own time to dance. So those who have been dancing ahead will have to wait and see how you dance. They have been performing. You have been watching. It is your turn to take the stage. And when you take the stage now, other people will begin to watch you. Because you are the, it is your turn. It is your time. Begin to manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. It is your turn. Begin to manifest. 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 It is your turn. Begin to manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. Where you have never been before, for good God will take you there. Where you desire and you are dreaming, God will actualize your dream. He will actualize your dream. God will actualize your dream in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, many gather with this man to celebrate him. To celebrate him. To congratulate him. Can you imagine? For 40 years, he has always been carried. But for the first time in his life, something changed for the better. Something changed for the better. His story changed for the better. Because his situation changed for the better. And uh, his location changed for the better. Because his story changed for the better. Now all his contemporary, you know, he has to leave them. He leave the company of beggars. Those who are limited. He changed level. He moved away from the crowd. He moved, you know, to the high table of life. And so the people he has been looking up to, he joined their company. There is a place you are going. There is a place God is taking you. By the power of the most high, receive the grace to get there. Receive the grace to enter there. Receive the grace to stay there. In the mighty name of Jesus, no more limitation. No more limitation. Every inherited trouble is over. Every inherited limitation is over. Every inherited pain is over. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I gave you a push forward into fulfillment in the name of Jesus. Enter into your celebration. Enter into your jubilee. Enter into rejoicing. Enter into your dancing. Enter into your season of celebration. Your season of rejoicing. Your season of dancing. People will see you dance and they will join you dance. Because you will begin to dance for joy. You will begin to dance for joy. In the mighty name of Jesus. No more denier. Your season of delay is over. In the name of Jesus. Shout with me, say, I am moving on. No more limitation. No more limitation. I am unstoppable. No more limitation. I rise above all limitation. I rise above all limitation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead, make it a declaration. Make those declarations a prayer. Lord, by your mighty power, I rise. I leave. I, I relocate from my present location. I move to a new location. I move into a new place. I move into a new life. I change. I take a new level. I take a new level. I connect. I connect. I connect. I connect today hey, with favor that will make me rise. I connect with favor that will take me all. I connect with favor that will lift me on. I connect with favor that will establish me. I connect with favor that will take me to the top stop. Oh, 
leave behind me every limitation of the past every error of the past every mistake of the past every wrong choices of the past I leave them behind me I leave them behind me I move on into the place of my honor in the mighty name of Jesus thank you bless the father blessed blessed be the name of the Lord in Jesus mighty name we pray so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus listen to the word of God there are choices you made yesterday that is causing you regret today. There are choices you made yesterday that is causing you pain today. I received the word of God for you. I am giving you a new opportunity. You are getting a new chance to right the wrongs of your life. God is saying to somebody here, the mistake you made yesterday that has been haunting your life he said receive new opportunity receive new chance in the mighty name of Jesus for somebody said even though I have forgiven you but you have refused to forgive yourself. You sin as a Christian, and ever since then, you have been living in condemnation. You have allowed the devil to hold you down. He said, I have forgiven. Stop holding yourself down. Move forward and get a new opportunity. And finally, for those who are yet to make a decision, he said, I've been waiting for you to, take a, to make a choice for me. He said, as long as you keep on struggling with yourself and struggling with the choice of surrendering your life to Jesus, you are limited. You remain at the gates. He said, if you will surrender your life unto him today, he said you will begin to experience transformation. You are in this service. You have not surrendered your life to Jesus. You have been coming. You enjoy all the praise session. You enjoy the music of the choir. You like the ambient of the church. But you have not surrendered your life to Jesus. What will give you key is your salvation. You want to take a decision for him this morning. Where you are, just lift your hand. I want to pray with you. You want to say, Jesus, I surrender my life to you. From wherever you are, inside or outside, lift your hand. I want to pray with you very quickly. My time is spent before I do the last pronouncement. If you are inside, I expect you to come before the altar. As many of us in various extensions, you know, you stay where you are. Lift up your hand. Let the usher attend to you there. So where you are, just pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus. I surrender my life to you. Take over. Be the captain of my salvation. Lead me on by your grace. Take me on by your power. Give me a new opportunity. Let the blood of Jesus speak for me. Let there be a new, a new beginning and a new start in my life. Give me a new story to tell. To the glory and to the honor of your name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. So it shall be. In Jesus name everybody please stand to your feet place your right hands upon your head place your right hands upon your head lika kaya takush kete po libalu rata pon te po li prapa raka yete kesh kete po libali intere keke yata kaka yata kush kete po libali proposo kuye in the re karya takush kete po libala trapaza kush kete po libali in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, 
As your mouthpiece, I declare your word unto your children this morning. And as you have instructed me, I am pronouncing your blessing upon them. Lord, let your hands be upon every head here and those who are watching all over. Lord, let there be a flow of new grace. Let there be a flow of your favor. Let there be a new mark of honor. Place upon each and every one of them in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever mark of discredit, whatever mark of bondage upon the life of anyone here, the blood of Jesus erase in the mighty name of Jesus. You are marked with a new mark. You are taken into a new family. Favor begin to follow you. Honor begin to follow you. In the mighty name of Jesus, everything you have lost since the beginning of this year, your recovery journey begins today. Your story of recovery begins today. In the mighty name of Jesus, all the good things of life you have been desiring, receive them now in the mighty name of Jesus. Sound health to enjoy the rest of your life, receive in the mighty name of Jesus abundant resources to live comfortably and do the work of joy, God with joy. Receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive acceptance wherever that you go in the mighty name of Jesus. The appointment you have been dreaming about before 2020 is over is confirmed and delivered to you in the name of Jesus. So shall it be be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And the people of God will say a good amen. amen. Shout one unstoppable hallelujah. Praise the Lord.